Hey there guys, it's the Xbox Nut. Uh, sorry about the week away. Hopefully, next few videos about this project will keep you guys going. Uh, hopefully, sorry, if you're watching this video, then uh, hopefully you will be interested in programming my new 5x7 pixel display uh, for whatever purpose you might have. Me, Mine being my keyboard in the future, of course. But this is just a short, quick uh, video on how to program it and how to add in slides and so forth so I'm on MC edit right now this is my redstone world uh, I'm let well this is the example I'm let's say I've run out of space I've just programmed my W so I want my X as in the alphabet so I'm gonna go over here to this prototype that I made ignore the sandstone and if you see there's this pink will up here also the pink will up here click and drag let go on the other pink and you have a 3 by 13 by 27 like thing 3 by 13 by 27 area of stuff I don't know uh, so you can see that here I'm not sure if you can see my cursor but you can see the the block down there click here on this clone button and what you do go to the back of my your driver and you position it such that it has no space in between it only has one space in between the two green wool the green wool blocks it will overlap the already it will overlap the uh, previous blue lines but it will replace them with exactly the same as what they were assuming they're not repeaters um, so once you've done that and you've checked that it's in line press enter game will save blah 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 and once you've done that you're ready to go in and program your uh, slide it's a blank a blank sheet blank screen so once you've done that we'll go back to minecraft and we'll begin programming okay then guys so now that we've added our next sheet for the program we've uh, we can get our torches out and start throwing in the pixels uh, I've already just calculated what I want to do and done it without uh, bothering on camera so I put a pixel every every torch represents a pixel on on the screen so I've left my because my X I tend to draw my X's like backwards C and normal C like little ones so I have put my two pixels in the bottom corners and then the next row the pixels go towards the middle there you are and then for three rows the pixels are in the middle there's one there's another there's a third, and then for the penultimate row, I've put the pictures back on the second from out, uh, one butt outer edge, outer edge, and then I've put finally the pixels on the outer edge. And uh, as you can see, when we get back down to the screen, we'll be able to flick a switch. Binary, I've already got it on 16, but if we flip the 8, it'll go to 24, which represents the X. And uh, other things you can do with these kind of projects. Uh, Obviously, you can do my kind of keyboard, but you can also make the uh, famous TVs that people tend to uh, create sometimes when you have a button and you flick through all the slides and it shows an animation. This is the same principle. It's just one of these. It's just a decoder like this, but this this is my own design. It's not very effective. It's just inverters up and up and up. And uh, so you you would, like a normal decoder, you take the power away from the torch and it would lit up, light up all the torches. So once you do that, oh, boom, it turns on, and uh, power goes along, goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up, and each blue line is the bus carrying it towards the screen, which links onto these pink um, pink lines, and then it gets inverted, so that on is on rather than no torch being on on the screen. So this is my P, if you add an 8 to that 16, there's my X, normal C backwards see. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, stay tuned for more uh, videos on these displays, this display, maybe this keyboard, um, please like, favourite, subscribe, comment, uh, I appreciate all of this support and uh, I appreciate my all the support that you keep giving me over my videos, so keep it up, thanks for watching.